All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is chop up my green peppers and my onion I have here. All right, so next I'm going to open the salmon and wash it and dry it. All right, so this is what it looks like. So this is more than enough to use one half for the bottom and the other half for the top. I'm just going to rinse this and dry it. Okay, so now I'm going to season this. I have a tablespoon of um, Old Bay seasoning. I'm going to use the, this for the front and the back. Before I start to season this, I'm going to spray this the front and back with olive oil. Just so the seasoning can stick better. Alright, so I'm lightly seasoned with a little bit of pepper. Both sides, of course. Chinese Creole seasoning. I say about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Just going go in there. Okay, and then I'm going to use lemon and pepper seasoning. I'm only going to use a half a teaspoon. Now this is for the front and the back. Get that water. I'm throwing out the spinach because I have spent frozen spinach. Okay, so this is all the seasoning I'm going to use for this. So I'll meet you guys at the spoon. All right, so I have a whole stick of butter I cut in half. I'm going to use one half to fry up the onions and peppers and the shrimp, and also um, put the salmon in the same butter sauce. Okay, so I'm going to remove the onion peppers and add them into this bowl. I'll take my salmon and cook. I already cut them in half. I'm going to cook both sides lightly. I'm going to leave this on here for a couple minutes. And then turn them over. Okay, I was like two, two minutes to push this over without whipping it. And I'm going to do the other side. For about two minutes as well. For this recipe, I have six pieces of super colossal shrimp. So I'm going to use three. That I'm going to cook now for the top when it's finished, and the other three I'm going to add to a mixture. Okay, 
All right, so I'm gonna remove the filament. All right, this is how it looks, guys. Not all the way done. As you can see, it's still like kind of cooking there. We don't want it all the way done, so finish cooking in the oven. Um, the soup can also kind of taste a lot better to me, but if you want to use um, the cooked, um, you know, tiny shrimp, you're, you're more than welcome to do that, but I just like the flavor of the uncooked colossal shrimp. Okay, so here's all the seasonings. Um, the onions and peppers and the butter sauce. Now I'm going to add in sour cream. I mean, sorry, the cream cheese. So in the meantime, I have the oven set to 350. 10 ounce package of leaf spinach that I thawed. And so I'm going to add that in. I'm going to add that in there. Next, we're going to add in a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I think that's half a cup. <laughs> half a cup of Parmesan cheese. There's a lot of mixture, so you can just use half of the um, spinach, half of spinach, half of cheese, if you're not making that much. Not to use this for more, I'm just showing you guys with one. Now, with this mixture, you can probably stuff about three. Salmon's the size, and we'll add in my shrimp. It's uncooked, because I don't want it to overcook, so. We'll use this bottom piece just because it's bigger. This is what it looks like. Carefully place it on top without breaking. And this is a very thick piece, y'all. Y'all can share it with someone else for sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the other half for the stick of butter. And I'm just gonna, I don't need all of this, but I'm just gonna take some of it and just And the ingredients will be in the description box below. So you guys don't have to worry if you missed anything or if I cut back on some things, you'll be able to know exactly what I used. So this is how it looks. And now we're gonna place this in the oven for about 20 minutes. All right guys, so it's all finished. So here is what it looks like. I put extra butter at the bottom so I can drizzle it on top when I plate. So that's what I'm going to do now. Looks so good and it smells so good too. Mm -hmm. okay, so I'm gonna carefully lift this without breaking it if I can. Ooh, that's a thick patty. So I'm gonna drizzle this with some lime juice. Completely optional. I just don't know how good this smells. All right guys, so here it is. This is our stuffed salmon with shrimp and spinach. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. All the ingredients and the measurements will be in the description box below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe and be sure to check out my other cooking videos. I have a lot for you guys to choose from. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.